Good day, everyone. Well, it was a good day, but now it's raining. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Everybody needs a little rain here and there. And I'll say for the first time this year, it was getting just a little dry. So if we can get five tenths and not an inch and five tenths or two and five, that'd be great. But never mind that now. What's important is the rain's holding me up because I wanted to work on some things. As you know, I got a beautiful 1150 in there that really needs to have restoration done. I also have my little TO35 here that also needs some restoration done. And it needs its handy little loader put back on it. So I wasn't sure what to work on today when I woke up. I thought, man, I'd really like to get that done so I can just be done with that. And I can use it for loader stuff. 1150, probably not going to use that a bunch, but I'd like to get it done just so I can have the most beautiful 1150 in the world. Maybe even Michigan. <laughs> but nevertheless, the rain's holding me up now. I wanted to get the sandblast, you know, the power wash and sandblaster out for that. Because that's just, we'll get into that when we get into that. But I can't use the power wash and sandblaster when it's already raining out because my rain, will, my sand will get all pre-wet before it's just, it ain't going to work. So that leaves me with this. This needs a power wash, obviously, as well. But before I get to the power wash on this, I need to get some metal off, like the hood, the fenders, probably the front pieces. Don't have to worry about these because I still don't have any. Actually, sad story on those two pieces. Well, since you're already listening. So guys, I had a fellow reach out and say, hey, someone wanted me to get with you because they said you're looking for these and I happen to have them. I said, well, hey, that's great. I'll show me what you got. Sent me a picture sent me a price, sent him some money, haven't seen shit. And of course it was a scam, nobody will call me back, no. I should have seen it coming, but when he said he had these things, I thought, hey, that's great, and he had a picture. So someone watched that video, let the scammer know about what this was. These guys did their homework, and they got me for a few bucks. Not gonna break the bank, but it still pisses me off. But nevertheless, that's my problem, I'll take care of it. But I still need to get the rest of the stuff off of here. There is an obscene amount of stuff on this tractor. All needs to be power washed off. I bought a case of degreaser. Now I already, you guys already know, you told me to use Easy Off and these other various things. I've tried all these things, guys. The degreaser that I bought is what I like, so that's what I'm gonna use. But I think once I get all the shit cleaned off of this, it's probably going to clean up to be a pretty decent looking tractor, I think. I mean, I don't know that, but I sure think so. But nevertheless, I got to get all this stuff off it if I want to clean it properly. So let's pull this thing in the old workshop and get cracking. And maybe I'll have a little more space in here when I get this done. But there we go. Upsy daisy. Now, let's get this thing fired up. Got enough throttle? Probably. Boy, that sure does sound nice. That is a sweetheart of an old tractor. I just love it. Well, I suppose, friends, I mean, I guess I'll just start taking bolts out and see where I end up. I wonder. Where's my trusty ladder? I keep buying these big tractors. There. Probably be wise for me to just start right up top. There. Problem number one, battery cover gone. There's a cover, there's a side and a side to the hood. 
get the side covers off. Yeah, I think that's that's going to be enough to keep me busy for a few minutes, I think. Nope. I knew this was going to be a challenge. There's one. What about you? Okay. The medallions can just, you know, they'll find, they can just stay on. They're not in my way yet. And not to mention, guys, I still got to do a whole service on this thing. Air filter, oil change, hydraulic filter, fuel filters. I'm probably going to leave them till they need it. This thing had, well, it had a setup on it, so I'm just going to guess that the fuel filters aren't all that dirty. And I'm going to hope that that's correct. Now, guys, I'm not going to get too excited about how many of these bolts I lose because as I did with my 1105 and the 1155, well, every tractor, I'm going to put all new bolts in it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You know what? I think that my pre-cleaner is going to have to go. Yeah, let's get you out of here. We'll just make a big old pile of parts right about there. That'll be just fine. Okay, I'll come grab that from over there. Is this tractor's practically taking itself apart. Couple of corners. <laughs> Tremendous. All right. Well, let's start busting this side apart here. might have had one or two of oh geez I might have had one or two of these apart in my day <laughs> there there's that side well I kind of wanted to pull these but at the same time I now kind of don't just because the radiator is attached to this and the hydraulic cooler is attached to this piece so I can paint around that I've done it before no big deal. What's next? This guy. Should I pull the dash pad here? Why are you a son of a gun? Okay. What the? Oh, shit. Got to have throttle. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll just... There. From now on, I'll just be using the foot throttle on this tractor till it's all back together. <laughs> That'll work just fine. I want to get a little creative with the... Uh, fuel pump wiring here. I have a feeling once the tractor starts, the oil pressure switch here gives the rest of it power as far as I know. So what my thoughts were, if I can hook this into that, every time I fire the tractor up, the fuel pump will just run and everything will be just dandy. Okay, so let me show you this the best I can. From this side, I got 12 volts. 
On the opposite side, I have nothing. Now, let's try this. We neutraled. We got enough throttle to start. As I suspected. So, I take my fuel pump switch, hook it up right to this wire. When the engine runs, this should be running. Now, on my 1155, it's basically all hooked up exactly the same. Only difference is it has a push button, so I can give it a little push button to start the fuel pump before the tractor's running, which I don't know. Don't even know if I actually need it all that bad, but whatever. So what do I got to do here? Let's do this. Nice shot. Plenty of places for arcs to happen. Yes, that looks... I'm just kidding. It's got a pretty smooth path, but... Okay, let me see if I can splice into this guy. Just borrow a little electricity from him. That's all I need to do. Now, by golly, friends, this is going to be just as good as automotive. If I lose oil pressure, she'll shut the tractor down eventually. Now, let's see if this all works like I hope it should. In fact, she's going to get smoky in here. Maybe I'll... Eh, whatever. Let's try it. If she stops running, I guess I know I screwed it up. I'm running. We'll let that run for a while. Perfect, guys. That works like a charm. Whew, I got to get out of here for about five minutes. I can barely see. Well, there, friends, now that the smoke's cleared and the dust is settled, the oil's done dripping, <laughs> I got to see if I can get these fenders off of here. Simple enough idea. There's only four bolts holding them on. Tough part of that idea is how in the hell am I going to get to them? I mean, maybe I can. I sure as heck can't get the impact in there, which would also be nice. I could pull these big ones, right? That, that might be my option. Of course, I'm going to get a bunch of dirt everywhere, but maybe I'll just... No, nope, can't do it that way. I want to use the impact. i got to use the top. So let me scrape all that mud off of there. That there. Bolt, bolt, bolt. I got those four bolts. Or... I got these four bolts. Obviously, I'm going to have a hard time impacting those ones out of there because, well, tire's in the way. And I could slide a wrench up in there, but is that going to work very well? I think it'll be a lot easier for me to just trying to, you know, make myself, make it smarter, not harder type of work here, but get my impact on top of those. I can still reach them with a the wrench from the bottom. Just pull the whole thing right up. I think, well, that's what I'm going to do anyway, so hope that works. Things are just working out today. Let's, let me. Well, son of a bun. 
There you are. Dang, that's two. Ugh. Okay, well, let's see. What do you think the chances are this is just going to balance here and not fall on my arm or my hand or whatever's stuck in the way? <laughs> chances are 100%. I don't believe it. Okay, now I'm going to disconnect all these wires that don't work anyway. If I got enough cojones to lift that fender up off of there. She's actually pretty heavy. I wonder if I should get the forklift out. Or. Hmm. Hmm. Bear with me, guys. I don't know exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of shooting from the hip as usual. Okay. Jesus, Murphy, don't fall, you son of a bitch. I mean, I guess if it does, it's only going to hit the tire. Probably not go crashing to the ground. But uh, as I tell you what, this fender's a little bit heavier than I, uh, than I bargained for. I don't know if I like that or not, but nothing I can do to change it at this point. You know, it's like watching a cat just before he decides to make that jump that's a little out of his reach. Cat, jump that's a little out of my reach. I don't want to put any extra dents in it because I'm trying to make this tractor better, not worse. Oh darn, that thing is surprisingly heavy. I guess she's coming out on this tire regardless, so. Or is it? Come on, you. There. Holy crap. That, that was awkward. It's that big cast iron hunk of cast iron. That probably weighs 100 pounds by itself. Fender probably weighs 30. But hey, whatever. It stands itself up, so that's, that's actually a win in my book. Let me get that thing drug over there somewhere and get the other one off. This one's already pre-loosened. That means the bolts are probably all rusty in there. <laughs> ah, well, let me get my little scraper back out here again. Yeah, that was definitely loose. I wonder if someone tried to peel the fenders off of this thing to make an 1150 an open station tractor and just never finished. I don't know, guys. There's a, a whole lot of stories this poor old tractor could tell that I'd love to know. Because, I mean... Because, I mean, as, as you and I all know, you don't just find 1150s that start running the junkyard. I know, I got enough crap about it. I'm telling you. You all watched it unfold as I was watching it unfold. And believe me, I know if you found the same deal, you sure as hell wouldn't turn it down. The other thing you guys all gave me crap about is why I didn't lift the whole back end of this to put the tires on it. Well, my forklift wouldn't lift it. I tried. It did lift the front, but it wouldn't lift the back. Just, you know, forklift did one of these numbers. Back end come up. So that is why I didn't use the forklift to lift the rear. Now you know. 
I suppose I could have came in with one fork and picked up one axle shaft from the outside and did the, I could have probably done that, but again, I did what I did. It all worked out. Clearly it has four tires on it now. <laughs> well, let's see. Oh man, so this is challenging because I'm not this handed. There, so that's that. Now, is this one gonna sneak out of here any easier than that other one did? Probably not, but I'm gonna give it my very best. I think there's more room back here to sneak that thing out from behind the wheel. What the hell am I stuck on now? A tire lug. Figures. Ouch. There. Well, it did pull one light out. Stick that right back in its hole. There. And there we go, guys. There's the whole. Oh, I gotta get that off of there. That looks like crap. So there, that's looking a whole lot more paintable now. All right, friends, let's take a walk around this tractor. Now that we can see the whole story, I wanna pay close attention because I'm gonna do the same thing when I get done washing it here. What a filthy mess. This thing ain't had a bath since it came out of the factory. I do like the forklift tires on the front. That was a good idea. I don't have many of them, but that was one of them. I'll get all that stuff washed out of there. Same on this side. A lot easier to access the tack cable and stuff on top of the engine now that I don't have a hood in the way. Maybe I could figure out. I did take the, cap, the tack cable off the back, spin it. The tack does indeed work. So either the injection pump ain't spinning it anymore or the cable's bad. Those are both options. Haven't dug that far yet, but we'll dig into it. Make no mistake. I like their fancy exhaust here, which bolts must have rotted out of, I'm guessing, or rotted into that. I don't know. They're not on it is the main part of the game here, so... At the same time, I don't think it's moving, so that's good. And I do think I know that it's going to be loud, and it's not going to be something that's going to be, it'll just be for show. If I'm going to be doing any work or planting or whatever with this tractor, I'll put the muffler back on, obviously. But nice chrome pipe out of that is really going to make this V8 sing. Oh, man. In fact, I'm probably more excited about that than most things. But eh, never mind. Pretty filthy in the back. Lots of corn cobs. Lots of, just lots of mess. But you know what? I'm gonna to get to the bottom of all that very, very soon here, guys. Let me uh, fire this up and start firing degreaser at it. Friends, I wanted to point out one more thing too before I pull this out of here. So if you've got one of these 100 or five series tractors and it doesn't like to stay in high range or doesn't like to stay in these upper gears and pops out of gear there's a reason for that and i'm going to show you what it is because this one pops out of high range which hell maybe that's why it ended up in the junkyard i don't know but i'm going to show you the fix for it here real fast because it's a piece of cake okay you see all that goop and crap under there friends oh geez there we go these levers that are under here push down in here you see the mountains of gook? Well, there's a fork under there. Put it into high range, it pushes down. If you got that much gook under there, you ain't pushing it all the way into gear. So now I just gotta get it all, I gotta get it all out of there. All right, friends, so after several, let's say hours, let me see if I can show you here. I think that one's my high range shifter. Let me see. Yep. So I've been digging all the gook out from under there, hitting it with the vacuum. I still can't get it all, so 
Got the air hose going here. The amount of stuff that gets under there is unbelievable. And you just gotta get it out of there and you're gonna be able to shift. I still ain't quite there. I got a little bit more work to do, but I'll get it. All right, friends. Well, let me get up down here. So after about an hour uh, sticking and sucking and blowing, that doesn't sound tractor related at all, but I assure you that it is. I got all this stuff out of here. I now have a pretty solid shift into high range. So let's see if it stays in gear. Raise that. The tractor's ready, but I'm not. It's about supper time. I'm going to sweep out all the barn because it is a hell of a mess now after I, well, did all that. I'm going to sweep this out, park that back in here for today, and then tomorrow I'm going to get her back out. We'll get that thing power washed. And uh, after that, we get to start on all the fun stuff. So, guys, that's going to do it for tonight. Don't worry, video's not over. It is for me tonight, but. I'll be back in the morning. We'll finish this off. Well, we're another day in here. Yes, as good a day as any to do some power washing. This is going to be a mess. I'm going to have to get a sweatshirt on. I already got my trusty boots. Probably get a hat on. I'm going to get more grease on me. It, it's going to be fun. Without question. I told you I bought a case of degreaser. I think what I'm going to do, give it a pre-soak with a few cans, hit it, then come in with some more cans and hit it again. This is probably the greasiest tractor I've ever washed. <laughs> Maybe not, but it's, it's, it's easily top two. Let's hit it. I'm gonna say there's probably an inch of shit sitting in the valley of that V8. Yeah. You know where all that's going? Right here. <laughs>
Well, guys, I'm going to give this can about a beer's worth of time to just kind of sit inside of there and maybe emulsify or elucify or whatever it's got to affy to get some of that sludge out of there because it is unbelievable. I mean, I've not seen it like that before, ever. I'm going to leave that right there. Well, let's give her another. Friends, I don't even have words for what an absolute disaster that was. I can't, I mean, she's still looks a little dirty in there, but I'm telling you what, when I say I pulled inches of sludge out of there, in fact, there's some of them. I gotta pick that shit up and scoop it away. But wow, I've never, I've cleaned a lot of dirty tractors in my ears, guys. All right, geez, I gotta hit that again. But this one takes the cake without question and i gotta tell you what overall that thing is unrecognizably clean now what a good shape tractor it was underneath all that shit but uh i got five four i got a couple bottles of degreaser left i'm gonna give this whole tractor one more drink give it a wash and get it back in the shop there so i can start the fun stuff guys i'm not gonna make you sit through that but Again, just, I can't believe how much that is. Jeez, there's, there's a fighting chance paint might stick to this thing now, guys. Anyway, let me get one more shot on this thing and get her put away. There it is. Kind of an unrecognizable difference, but nevertheless, still got dirt on it because, well, you know, the, the stuff just goes where you spray it. But at any rate, it's a whole lot better than it was. It'll be a whole lot easier to make it look good when it's clean. So I'm going to let that sit in here and drip dry for about the next three days because it's, well, you guessed it, still raining. Remember how in the front of this video I said, I'd love to just have 
four tenths, five tenths, and not an inch and five tenths. I'm on an inch and three right now and counting. Awesome. Whatever, can't do anything about that. But I can sure do something about this. Man, unbelievable. And I think mostly unbelievable is just the fact that how dirty this tractor actually was. Again, I've never had one that had that much shit on it. Oh well, it's all better now. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Got a long ways to go on this yet, but we're making headway. So, thanks for watching everybody. See you next time.